Welcome to Kingdom Stuff, where we're talking about the inbreaking of the kingdom at Christmas. And we've been discussing the prophecies of the ancient Hebrews, uh, which say kingdom come and the kingdom in full focus. Our last point being Isaiah points to God's inbreaking in Isaiah 9, one of the most beautiful prophecies we have for telling the birth of Christ, speaks of the light that will break into the darkness of the human heart. Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who were in distress. In the past, he humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the future will honor Galilee of the nations by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the deep darkness, a light has dawned. It's Isaiah 9, 1 and 2. Maybe the darkness has threatened to overtake you, to make you a servant of your fear or anger. Well, let's reflect on this and see what we can do on this Christmas day. Celebrate the inbreaking love of Jesus and the promise it holds for a world going crazy. There is no sin for which we can't be forgiven. No pain he can heal or he can't heal. No chain he cannot break. So as you celebrate this season, remember that Jesus is inviting you to be a part of his inbreaking kingdom. Working in the world, he wants to bring his kingdom through you. Merry Christmas.